Good morning. We're just hanging out on the couch here, having a kind of chill Saturday. I started back to work this week. You want to come say hi? Sure. Um, okay. Uh, hi there. Uh, what are you doing here? It's a bright and sunny morning out, so we're going to head out for our family walk shortly and probably make a pit stop at the park so that this guy can burn off a little bit of energy. We haven't made it very far yet. It is quarter to eight. I have just finished stripping our bed, so I'm gonna put on a load of laundry and then we'll head out for our family walk. So it's a little bit later than our usual departure time, but hey, it's the weekend. And uh, then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. I think we might be going grocery shopping. That's kind of the exciting trip and outing for the day. Um, not a whole heck of a lot to do when you are still in lockdown, but we'll catch up with you guys soon and let you know what we get up to. That was a pretty rainbow, right? Beautiful, yeah. Hey, where's the rainbow? It disappeared. Can you make it come back? breakfast but I'm gonna have a wasa bread with ricotta cheese and some sriracha it's actually really delicious smell the stink garbage why yeah what are you doing why don't you fold it first Come in, bud. Hey, mama. Mm hmm I'm gonna blow this. Okay, go for it. Happy with that? Yep. Take a picture of me. Ah! <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll noodles. Let's have a look at them. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Are you in the snack drawer? Are you closing it up? Okay, close it up. All done. Are we gonna dance? You need more snacks? Oh, oh goodness. Yeah, can you tell me more? Dance, dance. Today is actually Sunday now. I completely dropped the ball on making a video yesterday. When we got home from our family walk, it was so gorgeous outside that we put Gray down for a nap and then Jen, Hawk, and I had a quick breakfast. And then we spent a few hours outside just organizing the yard, the shed, the garage, that kind of thing, getting some yard work done and I just didn't get any footage of it because we were totally immersed in what we were doing. So sorry about that. By that point, I had completely let go of the idea of getting footage for the day. So here it is. We are Sunday. We're just back from our family walk. Gray is going to go down for a nap shortly. I think I'm going to make myself a salad. Yeah, a salad for breakfast because why not? And I feel like I just don't have time to make myself salads throughout the week especially with being back to work. It just seems so busy. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make myself a salad and then probably get a workout in while Gray naps. And then I'm hoping that I'll have time to get some planning done for work this week. Fingers crossed. All right, I'm gonna to get to it.
So as everyone with young children knows, things never go the way that you plan them. I got out to the garage, did a quick workout, which you guys saw. Didn't get to eat because as soon as I came in, I saw that Gray was already awake. I forgot to turn off the little nightlight in her room. 100% my fault. So she slept for uh, maybe 40 minutes. And since she's been having trouble sleeping lately at night, I decided that I was just gonna go ahead and take a quick shower anyways, because she was not screaming yet. And I have a strong feeling I'm not going to have time for self-care Sunday tonight. So here we are, got a quick shower in, got a workout in. I'm gonna make her and I some food now. And then Jen and Hawk should be home shortly. And I don't know what we'll do. See what they feel like. Like maybe head down to the lake or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Gray's going to have to go back down for another nap, probably sooner rather than later. So we might not make it that far. All right, we'll catch up with you soon. Avocados. I just don't know about on pizza. It's gonna be good. have really missed seeing Jen in my vlogs so she's back not by choice but she's back who's well, missed seeing me in your vlogs everybody right comment down below tell her tell her that you've missed seeing her mom you don't count <laughs> your mom's not watching these maybe she is would she don't know what to comment is the next question ah <sighs> good point good point so, yes, that's pretty much all we would see. So, what was your favorite part of the day? Oh, for sure, dinner time. 
was my favorite part of the day. Okay, so I know that he melted down during dinner. Actually, he made it further through dinner than he often does. We're talking about the boy. Hawk had a, uh, maybe a little too much sugar and a little bit too much screen time today, and we paid for it during dinner time. So now I know what your least favorite part of the day was. What was your actual? Um, well, we had a couple of visitors stop by today. It was nice to see people, even if it's socially distanced. That's true. In the driveway. I think you did a good job making the pizza. Yeah, pizza making was fun. Yeah, that was pretty well. Fun. And I was, but I would say that the highlight of the day. Well, Gracie walked. Yes. See, this is how the day's been. They're just doing things to keep. Track. I know. I know. It's been a long day. But that was her longest walk that she's had yet. We <laughs> like it took you a hot minute to figure out what I was up to. <laughs> You're so funny. My granddad used to do that to my great aunt at the cottage. They'd be drying and washing cutlery for like three hours after dinner because he just kept, <laughs> he'd be drying it and reach around and slip it back in the sink. She must have cleaned the same knife like 15 times. It was great. I would be so mad if I figured that out. <laughs> Good news that she didn't figure it out. But yes, little Miss Gracie walked probably pretty five, much across the house. Five meters? How far is that? How meters for? I don't know. What would you measure in? Feet? Yeah. That was okay. like 15 feet. It was 15 feet. Is that the same as five meters? I don't know. How many feet are in a meter? 3.28 now. Not even close. Okay, so she walked less than what I thought. Yeah, because no, five 15. times three is 15. But you said, oh, okay. So I it see. is actually Sorry, I got it. Oh, okay, there we go. So I eyeballed it correctly. Math is not my strong suit. I use meters because I think of a track. So like if I'm thinking distance, I always like imagine a 400 meter track and then half of that yeah, do you know what I mean? Or like if I we were doing like, or if you think hundred meter dash, I think about that length and then I shrink things down from there based on hundred meters. No? Um, I think of meters as in how painful my row or my ride is going to be. Yeah, I get that too. But I don't think in, I don't think meters in terms of like distance in our house. I use feet. Yeah. What do most people use? Depends on what part of the world you're from. Well, what do most people, what do most Canadians use? There's a question for you if we have- No, you can't, it's not fair to ask that question because technically we should be using kilos and meters. But when you weigh yourself, do you weigh yourself in kilos or pounds? No, and it always makes me so confused when other people weigh themselves in technically kilos. Because technically we should or be using me, kilos. Like, people tell me that they know their weight in kilos. And so they'll, they'll tell me. I know my weight in kilos. Yeah, I don't know mine. Only because my Australian friend was confused when I said how much weight I had lost. Oh. Why have we not adopted like a one holistic system here? Like one. Why do well, we no, do it's America things? that oh. uses pounds, the rest of the world uses kilos. Okay. But because we're but so then close there, to America. Are there other things though that we do? Kilometers. Most of the world uses a kilometer. So then my measurement in meters would have been technically speaking more fitting with the rest of based on standards yes thoughts how do you measure feet for meters i'd like to know that's our weekend went by too quickly always why can't we be one of those countries that has adopted like the three day weekend? That's what I need. I need a three day weekend. Some places either work four 10 hour days. Oh, four 10 hour days, no thank you. To get a three day weekend. No, no, too much. See, I wouldn't even, I don't even want a three day weekend. I want like an 11 to, or like maybe a nine to three work day. That's a wrap for our weekend pretty much. <laughs> Conversions, yay. Conversions, yeah. yeah. Math is important. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just riveting content.
riveting. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's just know. nothing happening in our lives right now. We're still in lockdown. For another three weeks. <gasps> and maybe more. Who knows? At we'll least see. we're allowed to go inside now. Oh, no. The girl heard us. It's probably me. Sorry. But yeah, at least we're allowed to go outside. That's true. All right, so we're just going to wrap the night up here. Kids are in bed. It is 6.35. Yeah, but that one doesn't sound like she's staying in bed. No, it does not sound like she's going to stay down. Now, I know you're thinking 6.35 is really, really early to have your kids in bed. And I think our son, I think Hawk, is probably actually asleep. Yeah. There's a good chance that he's asleep right now. But they get up really early in the morning. So that's why they go to bed really early at night. But it does mean that we then get a couple hours to ourselves in the evening. Gray hasn't been sleeping too well at night lately. I was up here like three times last night. What? Oh, this camera's off. Yeah. She's not good. Yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. But we're gonna have a little time to ourselves now and then call it a night. And yeah, that's our weekend. That's a wrap. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.